acoustic lesson for the song Homecoming by Bethel Music and Corey Asbury. I'm going to show you guys how to play it. It's in the key of C, so I'm going to use capo on the fifth fret and play the G shapes. So really, we can we can. The song is basically four chords. Um, there's an A minor snuck into the alternate uh, chorus chords at the end, which we can use if we want. Um, but really, it's just four chords. So the chords we need: the G chord, the C chord, the D chord. You could do this, you know, the D that I'm doing here, or if you wanted to just do that three-fingered D major chord. Uh, we need an E minor chord. And then if we wanted to throw in that A minor, we can either do this one, or we can do a full A minor seven, or we can add that pinky on there. So whatever one you want for that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing the, uh, the, the intro uh, is just G, so we're just gonna hang on to the G. Um, and then it goes right into verse one. So um, what I would do for, for verse one, the chorus one, is probably just do some finger picking. So I'm just gonna get into my finger picking position here on the right hand side. Uh, I've got a bunch of lessons on like where my fingers are and like the placement of each finger. So I'll link some of those up top in the description below. I can't go through everything um, in this lesson on finger picking, but really what I'm gonna be doing the chord progression is G, E minor, C, D. So we could just do something like, Lord, I confess that I've been a criminal. I've stolen your breath and sang my own song. So that's where the chords would change. We could just do that same rotation, same finger picking. Um, let's see. Yeah, you could just do that four times for each chord. Lord, I confess that I've been a criminal. I've stolen your breath. Sing my own song. And then if we wanted to add maybe just a little bit more kind of rhythm in there, I would pluck maybe the, the thumb on the D string and the uh, pointer finger on the G string in between those rotations. So the, for the second half of that first verse. And, and Lord, I confess that I'm far from innocent These shackles I wear Oh, I bought them my own So that's what you could do maybe for that first verse. And then right after that D, just on the first verse alone, it goes to a G. just for four of those um, cycles. Uh, so uh, chorus, we would just do uh, really the same, uh, the same finger picking. And these scarlet sins had a crimson cost. You nailed my debt to that old rugged cross. And empty slate at the empty grave. Thank God that stone was rolled away. And then I would start strumming on that G. So for this chorus, instead of doing four cycles, we're just doing two for each chord. So these scarlet sins had a crimson cost. You nailed my debt to that old rugged cross. And empty slate at the empty grave. Thank God that stone was rolled away. 
So if we add in a little bit more rhythm, kind of that extra thumb and pointer finger in between. These scarlet sins had a crimson cost. You nailed my debt to that old rugged cross. And empty slate at the empty grave. Thank God that stone was rolled away. So that's where I would start kind of strumming. And we're going to get into the strumming for verse 2 here. So chords for verse 2, they're exactly the same um, as verse 1. Uh, the song is in 6-8 timing, so we're just going to be doing counting to 6 on these down strums. And this will kind of be your basic pattern. Um, so Lord, I confess, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, To the to the chorus so again you're just kind of doing six down strums well you'll be doing 12 down strums on each chord but I'm just counting to six uh, just to make it a little bit easier and then you can add in some rhythm if you wanted to some some additional up strums if you want but just maybe follow that six down well 12 down for each chord just kind of get that little foundation uh, built there for the strumming and the timing so the chorus, let me show you that. Um, it's just going to be six down strums on each chord. So, Scarlet sins had a crimson cost. You nailed my debt to that old rugged cross. An em empty slate at the empty grave. Thank God that stone was rolled. And then that will take us into this little interlude, uh, which is just going to be G to the C. So you're just doing 12 down strums on the G, 12 down strums on the C. And I think you do that once, maybe twice. Uh, leading into to the bridge. So, and in that interlude part, I think Corey Asbury's, you know, singing, I can see it now, smiling to heaven, you and I, you and I, however that part goes. So, just a little mental note for, for that interlude. And then the bridge, we're going to do the chord progression, G, E minor, D, C. So, and I see bright crimson robes draped over the ashes. A wide open tomb where there should be a casket. The children are singing and dancing and laughing. The Father is welcoming. This is our homecoming. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Eventually, just you just kind of build, and I think they do that three times total. So just kind of building, maybe adding in some rhythm when you're uh, doing some of those strums. But yeah, that's just going to be twelve down strums on each chord for that bridge. And then we go back into the chorus. Chorus will be the same. Uh, the little, I guess I'll call it the refrain, where they're singing. Oh. oh, oh. That 
G, E minor, D, and the C. And then, yeah, so that alternate chorus chords, um, you can do that right after the, the bridge. Um, you're doing the same thing, you're just adding in an A minor on the tail end of it, so it would be Scarlet sins had a crimson cost You nailed my debt to that old rugged cross An empty slate at the empty grave Thank God that stone was rolled So you're just adding that A minor in there um, instead of the C if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's the song. That shows you how to play it. I'll have the chord charts for this on my Patreon page if you need them. So I'll link that in the description below. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions on this or you're confused about anything. Love y'all. Catch you in the next one.